Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about masking via the layer. In my opinion, it's a very important and useful uh, technique uh, to mask surfaces with Nomad Sculpt. Okay, I record this uh, video with version 179, and I think it's only possible with version 179. So. I start with a new example. I delete everything and I add a, a sphere. So we can validate the object. So for this technique you always have to add a layer to your object. Press add layer and the next important thing, you always need a color. So don't use such a, a dark color, uh, use a, a brighter color like this. And the color is only um, yeah, needed for, yeah, for masking, not for coloring. So paint this object and you can control always uh, the color here uh, via the slider in the submenu. Okay, so when you use the trim tool and you trim here um, a shape, something like this. Um, so when you now want to mask something here. So here you want to mask this part here and yeah there are filter settings here in the in the brush menu but it takes too too long time also it's not okay. So and if you want to use paint here choose other other color um, here if you want to um, get the edges here it's, it works but it it's not nice at the moment okay how to do it so you have a layer and you have a paint on your object <coughs> so now when you trim It's possible to select here in the submenu the color mask here. You see here your color and when you press mask you get your previous object color. And here in the mask options it's possible when you use here a shell thickness of zero, you can split here your object with settings here none none. So now you have two different objects here. The trimmed surfaces and the original sphere. And now it's possible <clears throat> to um, yeah, to mask uh, this parts here when you press on the screen, and yeah, so you have access to um, to the surfaces you create. So uh, other example is. Create a layer, give it a paint, and now when you add um, a other object, so we can see it a little bit better. And 
and you use now the new boolean option here i hide the object and press boolean so it's now possible via the layer to mask this part and important is here in the mask settings when you invert your mask it doesn't work so when you see here the wireframe it's not masked at the edges so you need this mask of the color layer so now it's possible to split again so you have now this object and here remember you got a layer and you have to clear the layer or delete the layer so now you have um, this surface here you can paint it so another nice option is here um, when you use here the, the advanced settings here you can change here your keep topology option it affects all uh, operations inside uh, Nomad Sculpt to keep topology separate. So when you now select the two meshes and join them, they don't merge here. Now it's possible to keep your um, surfaces separate and here when you press on this surface it's now separate so you can change now the color and yeah clear the mask or you select this one and Oh, we have to delete the layer so now you get this okay one thing um, I show you a thing via the layers and and the mask um, to get the borders here um, I validate this object and I use now the mask so I extract this with a shell thickness of zero and extract it oh let's use a border smoothness and extract it so let's hide the, the sphere so now when you add a layer and paint this like this paint all and now when you mask it you can extract it with a border thickness here you can change your edge loops and turn off the smoothness and extract your shell so let's make it a little bit thicker like this so now look at the, the layers here you got two layers and um, when you press here mask the color layer the bottom surface is masked and the other layer is the top surface so you get two nice uh, masked areas and when you change here the shell thickness to zero and split the mesh now it's possible to get the the border here now you get um, here this border shape you can now clone this shape and here you can join again 
um, here and remember the advanced settings here keep topology you can turn it off and join it together so and delete all the layers you don't need it so now here you got your your border and you can yeah mask it and give it a shell thickness and extract the whole thing so here you get a nice edge yeah that's it for the moment have fun with sculpting ciao